Tell me about wavelengths and frequencies. What's yeah. going on there? So light is kind of like the byproduct of this hurly-burly, frisky puppy kind of energy of matter. All right, you might look at the chair you're sitting on and think it's solid and motionless. But if you're peering down to the atomic level, you're actually able to see all of the movement of those atoms. When I'm looking at Chuck, he's maybe two feet away. I don't see him as he is. I see him as he once was two billionths of a second ago. And believe me, I'm a changed man now. <laughs> what is data sonification? All of these different elements have been mapped with color. So instead of just looking at it as a visual, we're gonna hear those mapped to sound. Tim, what is data sonification? Mm. So, so why don't we just sort of give a taste of it sure. and then we'll dig in deeper in a few moments. Just okay. check this out. So that was real data. Real data. Real data. So it's basically the calm act for the universe. Yes. You know, funny, right. we've actually had people approach us asking for like meditative versions of this that they can use for those apps. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So those, those are the aliens who wanted no, to. No, humans. Okay. You, humans. Humans did that. Humans okay. like that. <laughs> aliens <laughs> with anxiety problems. Maybe. Yeah. All right. So before we get up in that, yeah. let's just lay some groundwork so we're all on the same page. Mm -hmm speaking the same language, mm -hmm. right? So just a brief intro to telescopes and electromagnetic energy. Mm -hmm. You live in that space. And so we can look at beautiful images of the universe. And what are some fundamental things just up front you should be able to tell us about it? Because we know, for example, these, th these objects are far away. I can, I, when I'm looking at Chuck, he's maybe two feet away. I don't see him as he is. I see him as he once was two billionths of a second ago. And believe me, I'm a changed man now. <laughs> Just letting you know. <laughs> two billionths of a second two ago. Two billionths of a second ago, I'm telling you, I was awful. <laughs> so that's like not much time. But as you go out into the universe, of course, the time delay is much, much greater. We have to factor that in to what we're saying about what we think is happening now versus whatever it once happened. But also, we are seeing the universe 